So Electronic Arts has shut down Visceral Entertainment and cancelled their 2019 open world Star Wars game codenamed Project Ragtag. Now, technically they're not cancelling it, they're revamping it in a new direction, but I mean come on, saying you're cancelling a high profile AAA Star Wars game, it's not going to look good to the shareholders. So most people are under the assumption that what they're moving forward with isn't going to look anything like the Project Ragtag we learned about in the leaks, virtually cancelling that version of the game. And honestly, I'm a little surprised. I probably shouldn't be surprised, as Ragtag was announced to be in development a little over three years ago. And since then we've seen, what, five seconds of pre-rendered footage? Anyway, there's a lot of misconceptions going around with different gaming journalism sites and news outlets stating that Electronic Arts no longer has any faith in creating single-player games, and that's why Visceral's Star Wars game was cancelled. And even though I feel like there could be some truth to that, it looks like that's not why they cancelled this 2019 Star Wars game after all. Jason Schreier, the news editor of Kotaku, had this to say on Twitter. I feel like I should clarify that despite today's hot takes, Visceral's game was not canned because it was single player, from what I've heard. It was because investors don't like hearing the project was a mess. And something that kind of hints toward this is Amy Hennig, who is a legend in gaming, but she was a lead director on Ragtag, and formerly a lead writer and creative director for the Uncharted series, leaving Naughty Dog sometime during Uncharted 4's development. But while she was steering the development ship, there were people in the development team who wished there was a more cohesive direction to the game. Others working with Naughty Dog said the lead co-writer and another game director stopped seeing eye to eye with Hennig and that they had fundamental disagreements on where to take the Uncharted series. When Hennig left, she signed a non-disparagement agreement preventing both her and Naughty Dog from making negative public comments about what happened. It's entirely possible that similar problems could have developed within Project Ragtag. We may never know the truth behind what actually happened, but you can look to Mass Effect Andromeda or Mirror's Edge Catalyst and surmise that similar problematic development could have occurred and EA decided to pull the plug early. And as for Visceral Studios closing down, considering the supposed disappointment over Dead Space 2 sales and the subsequent meddling with Dead Space 3 to give it a broader appeal that led to its commercial failure and critical failure, it seems like it was a little overdue in terms of other studios that have been closed in the past. As for what Project Ragtag is going to become, Electronic Arts wants to give it a broader appeal, stating our Visceral Studio has been developing an action-adventure title set in the Star Wars universe. In its current form, it was shaping up to be a story-based linear adventure game. Throughout the development process, we have been testing the game concept with players, listening to the feedback about what and how they want to play, and closely tracking fundamental shifts in the marketplace. It has become clear that to deliver an experience that players will want to come back to and enjoy for a long time to come, we needed to pivot the design. We will maintain the stunning visuals, authenticity in the Star Wars universe, and focus on bringing a Star Wars story to life. Importantly, we are shifting the game to be a broader experience that allows for more variety in player agency, leaning into the capabilities of our Frostbite engine and reimagining central elements of the game to give players a Star Wars adventure of greater depth and breadth to explore. Mm, does this mean they're turning Ragtag into... Destiny, a Star Wars story? Maybe... They may just be adding some sort of a loot box based progression system and a Dragon Age Inquisition updated for 2017 approach to game design? It's somewhat difficult to glean exactly what EA meant from their statement, but it looks like they're trying to move away from traditional single player experiences like Uncharted for instance, you play it and you're done. Unless you want to replay it to more of a persistent open world type of a thing where there's always something to do. I find games of that genre to be hit or miss sometimes, but I don't know. No one does. But I don't think that they're necessarily turning this into a multiplayer experience. I think that they're turning this into a different version, possibly a very different version of a single player experience. However, it doesn't look like they canceled the game because they wanted to turn it into a multiplayer Destiny type of a thing, as opposed to single player. It looks like they canceled the game because it was a mess. Um, I don't know which one is better of, of those two options. 
Regardless, I'm very interested to learn if Amy Hennig is still going to be working on the game and what they're going to, what the hell they're going to turn the game into. What, what's it going to be? Anyway, if you guys found this video interesting or helpful, subscribe for more videos like this and more Star Wars gaming news. And until next time, may the Force be with you.